Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Blue's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. My name is Amy. We do a lot of food related videos on this channel. So if you like to eat, you should subscribe and then hit that notification button wherever it is because I promise you, if you don't, you won't find us again. Today, I'm answering all of your questions. I will put the questions up right here in this nice empty blank space. <laughs> and let's just get into the questions. Okay, this one's from Beauty Babes. How many boyfriends have you had since Bella's dad? Has Bella met anyone? I don't know how many, I guess, a few. And he, she's met zero. What are your views on cance cancel and cancel culture? I don't agree with cancel culture, actually. That's like where a big mob like comes out and, right? I don't know. And like, is that like what happened to Jenna Marbles? Like, I really liked her. So I don't know. However, like I think of another situation of a family channel that probably shouldn't have been on YouTube in the first place. So I don't know. I think cancel culture, I don't know. I don't think that I necessarily agree. I don't think I agree with it. What happened to the daily videos? I'm guessing you're talking about Christmas. Christmas was just a really hard month for me, like mentally, I think. So yeah, that I was going to try it and I did good for a few days, but like my mental stability needed to come first before all the, the daily Christmas videos, I guess. So Sorry. Unique Nation says, hey, first off, I wanted to say that Bella is adorable and that I really like your channel, even though I'm not even a parent or an adult for that matter. It's just fun to watch. My question is, how are you and Bella doing with the pandemic? Is she scared about it? Also, my other question is, what was two things you wished you had known before you started making lunch idea videos on YouTube? Okay, so with... um, First of all, she's not scared at all. We make it very... Uh, factual and we try to do facts and not fear and that seems to be working we know that we need to wash our hands a lot we need to wear our mask and we need to be careful when we're around others and you know if we hear somebody coughing we maybe move away from them we order our groceries which Bella loves because she hated grocery shopping so <laughs> I think it's kind of going okay um and then what's something I wish I knew uh, before I started making lunch videos on YouTube. Okay, so not necessarily like anything to do with the lunch videos, but YouTube. I wish I would have known you don't need to trust everybody because if I've worked with other moms on YouTube and they have done me dirty and you'll see like, um, you can't even comment their names. Like I have blocked their names <laughs> from my YouTube channel. I don't even want anything to do with them. I have no respect for them. So if I've worked with somebody and you ask me about them and I don't answer, that is why. Because they've done me very dirty and I have nothing good to say about them. So I'm just not going to say anything at all. Uh, so there you go. I wish I would know uh, to not trust everybody, not every, you know, I come from the Midwest, so we just, I don't know. I think there's a different mindset with some people where I just feel like I can trust everybody and you can't, you cannot. Okay. Moving on. The next question is Savannah Sundance says, Hey, I love your channel. How can I motivate my mom to be more creative with snacks? Okay. You can't, <laughs> you absolutely cannot motivate your mom to do anything your mom does not want to do. Uh, that would be like some, like Bella saying, how do I motivate my mom to go and play hockey? I don't want to play hockey. I want to watch you play hockey. I want to cheer you on while you play hockey. And I want to come and work at your hockey games and make sure you have a wonderful hockey experience. But I don't want to play hockey. You should go and make some snacks for your mom. That's what you should do. I bet your mom would absolutely love it. But yeah, you can't motivate your mom to do that. <laughs> that one cracks me up. <laughs> You're funny. I like that. Vera Gans says, what direction will you take the channel once Bella gets older and no longer wants kid-friendly lunches? Love your channel. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to be homeschooling her next year. I don't know. I'm trying to live right now, like day to day to day and like just get through the day. The next one is from Worm says, could you please say trans rights? 
I really like your channel, but I'm kind of nervous that you might not like might not like watching me because I'm non-binary. We don't care at this channel. We're happy that you are who you are. Be who you want to be. It does not affect me. Because why I don't understand why somebody would care how you live your life if the way you're living your life has no negative impact on theirs. It has no negative impact on mine. You do you. Be strong, don't ever give up, and don't ever let anybody dim your worth for a second. Where's Bella's father at? He actually is in another state. He moved closer to be by his family. Uh, Christina says, I would love to hear about what it's like dating as a single mom. I kind of already explained it, how you go when your child's not there. So we would go during the school year breakfast and lunch. Um, it's interesting because, okay, so I went on Bumble and one of the people that had swiped with me or matched or I don't know how it works. Uh, but I hadn't read like his like full like description. So after we had matched, I went back and read it and it said like huge, like capital letters, don't want kids. And on mine, it says that I have a child. So I'm like, I see that you don't want kids, but I have a child. And his response was correct. I'm like, what does that even mean? So I like let it sit there for a day and he never responded. So then I think I like undid it or whatever you do. So you're not matched. I don't know. It's how do you date? Like, what do you do? Like, and why is every guy's picture have a fish in it? What? I'm going to start holding up sandwiches that I make in all my pictures. Anyway, it's weird. It's, it's, I think it's just weird dating in general. Plus I'm old. I'm really old. Does Bella, do you and Bella's dad have a good relationship? <laughs> no, we tolerate each other. We really tolerate each other. Uh, what happened to Bella's channel? Why did you have to take it down? I didn't have to take it down, but I started it around the exact same time where they said no kids. Like they were like not liking kid channels. So we just stopped posting on that channel. And I don't know. That's what happened. I wasn't forced to. It's still there. Um, I just don't post on it. What's your favorite thing to do with Bella? Right now, my favorite thing to do with Bella is board games. We absolutely love playing board games. We got um, a bunch of new ones for Christmas, or she did. So we've been playing a lot of her board games. The Mouse Trap game is out right now because it takes forever to set up. But that's what we're doing now. What we did last year was completely different. Last year, we liked going places. So we would just travel. We would just go to the cities or we would go to uh Nebraska or we would go we just we just weren't home we just left as often as we could this year we're stuck Jessica says during the pandemic what has been your biggest struggle for you and Bella and how did you react when she found out that she probably won't be able to see her dad for a while if you told her um the second half of it she didn't there was no reaction or anything he lives in another state so it's not like he is here every other week or every week anyways so that wasn't a big deal or a big change in her lifestyle um and then the biggest struggle has probably been just not being able to see people as freely as we used to. Does Bella have any half or step siblings? She does not. Would you ever do a vlog channel? Maybe. Can you think of a name? Because when I started this one, I didn't have to think of the name. I just kind of like titled it what it was. So give me your suggestions for a name. And maybe we could start a new channel where it would just be the focus on me. And maybe I could vlog some stuff. I don't know. Would anybody watch that? I don't know how exciting I am. Tell me. Do you want me to vlog my life? Do you plan on packing lunches like you do during her whole school life? I'll make her a lunch until she tells me to stop. What is next for you in your life? I want to know what your next chapter holds because you deserve a wonderful life. Thank you. Maybe I'll meet a husband and I can introduce you to him. I don't know what's next, my next chapter. You know, it's my 
my brother is marrying my friend. And so I know at their wedding, I'm not going to meet anybody there either. So where am I going to meet him? Where are all these single men just waiting to meet me? If you know a single man, will you give him my phone number? No, don't give him my phone number. Give him my email. Tell him that he should email me. But he would need to move here to South Dakota. That's the other thing. Like, there's nobody here and nobody wants to come here from me. I need him to come here. Would he do that? I don't know. Plus, I watch a lot of true crime and I'm kind of scared that I'm going to be murdered. Anybody else?